Okay, hi, Chaos1111 here, bringing you a Wi-Fi battle. But unlike any Wi-Fi battle, we're doing a challenge. The Nuzlocke challenge, I assume that all of you know it. But we're bringing a twist. We have four start, four people doing the challenge with the three st uh, three starters from Johto, Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. And I'm using a Swina because Swinums are cool. And basically, after every gym, we do a Wi-Fi battle with each other. And the four people are participating is Laddie, Sasuke, and Uchiha, Shinemon, and I. And I actually think this is pretty fun because uh, competitive battling is like my favorite thing about Pokemon. And my second favorite thing about Pokemon is challenges, especially Nuzlocke. So combining both of them makes it like extremely fun. So anyways, let's get to the battle. Um, I'm using a Geodude because Geodudes are like the best thing you can get. And um, I have a naming theme. It's about songs. As you can see, I have Brick by Boing Brick from Paramore. And I switch out because I can't do anything to this. And I'm fearing a Rock Smash. And he goes for the Rock Polish. Good play there because he can... The Geodudes are like really threatening sweepers. The only thing that like walls a Geodude is Geodude itself and Wooper. So he switches out. I don't know why he switches out. I guess he's fearing a Hypnosis. And that's exactly what I do because I don't want this Geodude messing up my plans. Because this Geodude is actually the bane of my team. Because I don't have anything to take this down. So I go to uh, Brick by Boom Brick fearing a Bite. Because Bite is like super effective. And then he can't do anything to Brick. So he's forced to switch out and go back to his Dwayne. And then I go for the Rock Palace, trying to sweep, set up a sweep just like he was planning. But then I forgot about Geodude, and that foils my plans. So I just go for the Rock Throw just to, like, um, chip down on his defenses. And I get him, unfortunately, I get a crit. But I'm not sure if it mattered that much in the long run. And he just goes for a Rock Polish as well, th thinking that I would switch. That's a good play. And um, he switches. Seeing he can't do anything, and he goes into a Sol for some reason. That's his Quilava. Oh yeah, and um, the le max level of the Wi-Fi battle we're supposed to do, like the max level we're supposed to do, is level 14. So that's why he has a Quilava, and he, he breaks Evasion Claws by going with for Smoke Screen. But I don't really mind because my uh, Swine Up has Mud Slap itself, even though I bred Mud Shot on it. But I, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna force me to switch though. But as long as he doesn't do it repeatedly, I'm okay with it. So yeah, I missed the rock throw. So yeah, I think I'm forced to switch here. But first he switches, goes on to his Babonic, the Rattata. And I go for, no, I go for a rock throw again because he can't do anything to me. And I fear a rock throw, smash. So I switch and go into Owl City. And uh, Owl City can actually take these rock smashes pretty well. I'm really doing that much to him. And I have Roost, which I can easily shrug off. The, all the damage that's done to it, as long as he doesn't get into defense shop, and he doesn't. And I get a hypnosis, which is amazing, because I can hypno I can roost off all the damage and switch. And he switches and goes out into his uh, his uh, forgot the name of this thing, Firo Spiro. I forgot exactly the name. I'm just gonna call it drone. And I roost up all the damage, and I go almost to full. So that's actually pretty threatening, and I switch. And one last thing that I'm gonna mention here, um, he had only four guys while I had six. I guess like he miscaptured the Pokemon, like he ran out of Pokeballs, or his captures were accidentally killed. But a word of advice, even if you're trying to do this, I'm, this is uh, a message sent out to Laddie, Sasuke, and Shinemon. If you're hearing this, I advise just like catching an un unknown or a random capture because th those could be really good for foddering because the problem that Laddie had in this battle that he didn't have anything to fodder with like all of his Pokemon were pretty vulnerable especially to my, to my freeze frame and Geodude anyways I go for the mud, sl mud shot here predicting either Quilava to come out or Geodude and now I go to uh, Brick by Born Brick to take the Ember and I see that I can't at first, I thought that was a berry, actually, but it's actually Shell Bell, which is makes me extremely glad. And um, I'm just leaving my brick here by the fodder, but I guess he thought I would switch, but I'm not. And I go for a rock throw, and yeah, see, even though rock throw isn't doing that much damage, uh, Geodude doesn't have any form of recovery, and there's no wish Pokemon here, so he's going to be crippled a lot. And um, I go for a curse here, 
because that's like my only way of uh, damaging you, dude. Without th because I can't send out my uh, freeze frame, my swine up indirectly because it's threatened by a rock throw because swine up has bad defenses and that curse is uh, basically taking a toll on drone. So look, look how much damage that did. And uh, I have to switch here because I can't put hyp I can't use hypnosis because I'd be breaking sleep claws. Even though I don't even know if sleep claws is activated, but I'm just not gonna take my risks. And curse is as you can see, it's like whittling the drone all of, like really fast. So now he's forced to switch here, fearing a rock throw. And so he goes back into his dude. No, he goes into his Rattata, leaving it as a death fodder. It would actually fine by me because now if I want I could put any of his guys to sleep because any of because I'd really want to put that Quilava to sleep because it's a really big threat to my team especially since uh, Brick my one Brick is weak and and I switch out and I go into my paper flowers for death fodder I just brought this thing for death fodder because it doesn't know any moves and that's actually pretty cool because now I can bring any of my Pokemon in for free but unfortunately, fortunately for him, unfortunately for me, that uh, Paper Flowers lives the Ember. And he just goes for a quick attack, fearing, like, I guess that um, Hoppip would outspeed him. I'm not sure if that has a higher base speed and go for Poison Powder, but I guess uh, Quilava has a bit more base speed than Hoppip, I'm not sure. And then I go to the Beatles. And I, I actually took a long time thinking this decision. I went and I saw that a uh, Hopip has lower base HP and lower special attack, special defense than Beedrill. So if he was able to uh, live one Ember, Beedrill would be able to live one too. But he makes a great play, goes into his Geo Dude, and then switches. That's I think he's no, he goes into his Geo Dude while I go for no, he switches. He does a double switch. I'm sorry, he goes for a double switch, predicting Brick to come out, and he just goes and kills my Brick. So basically, it's five three right now. And then here, I think I either go to Beedrill or Ghastly. Uh, yeah, I go to Beedrill, the Beatles, to threaten him out with another uh, Fear Attack. And I switch here, predicting Geodude to come back in. So I go into Freeze Frame. Because Freeze Frame, now he can threaten anything with an Ice Attack. And here, I predict him switching into uh, Spiro. Because I went for Mud... Mud... Uh, Mud shot last time, so I go for Powder Snow to take out the Spiro, but he just leaves his uh, Geodude in as Death Fodder. But fortunately, it leaves. And Laddie's reaction on this was he was like, he was really excited that that thing lived. I was astonished. I, I thought I honestly thought that that would have killed. But um, yeah, the Geodude he gets knocked out, so now that leaves it as five two. He brings in two, he brings in a Saul, and I have to switch in Freeze Frame. Freeze Frame is basically like a hit and run Pokemon. And he goes for the Ember, and I was just bringing uh, Ghastly in as Death Fodder. But then Ghastly lives, and I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter either way, Quilava will outspeed. But then I forgot that my Thriller has a plus speed nature, which allows it to be outspeed Saul and get a curse in. And that is amazing, because with that curse, it brings him into the red zone. And that can make it a lot easier. For, it can make it easier for me to kill it. But um, but that also puts it as his advantage because now he gets Blaze activated and the Ember can take anything out. So now I go to um Owl City. I think I go for the Hypnosis here because if he would switch, I could Hypnosis the incoming Pokemon. And either way, if I went for Hypnosis, it, um. He would have died. No, I went for Uproar. I should have really went for Roost or Hypnosis because either way he was going to get taken out by the the Curse. No, he gets... Well, Uproar doesn't really kill him, but he still gets taken out by the Curse, so that's good. And now he only has one Pokemon left, and that is his Drone. And then, you know, it's basically a good game here. He can't really do anything to me. Well, yeah, he can't really do anything to me now because I have a... Uh, Freeze frame the swine up in the wings so it can use a uh, powder snow. And I keep going for uproar because that's uproar's effect. I have to repeatedly do it. So he could actually restall me here, I guess. But he decides to attack because I guess he realizes from here it's a good game. So he just wants to try to take out all city to make the make the score 3-0, I guess. 3 or 2-0, I forgot which. And then he gets a crit here. Kinda mad at it, I guess. 
But if he would have got four hits, it wouldn't have mattered. And then I go into the Beatles, because the Beatles is like epic. And Fury Attack is enough that it would be able to take out, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Because I don't really remember this. I, I did this battle yesterday, actually, but I don't really remember how much exactly the hits did. No, it was enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough to kill it. Five times, actually, so that's lucky for me. And then I win here, and that's a good game, laddie. I won 2-0. And um, i like to to thank you guys for watching this video. I I really enjoyed doing this battle. And um, my basically, my schedule is going to be... Um, during the first gym, I'm going to do Laddie's battle, just like I did right now. The next gym, I'm going to be doing Shiny Mons. And then the third gym, I'm going to do Sasuke, because Sasuke has Totodile. And that's honestly uh, going to be an interesting battle, because it's going to be a Croconaw by then. And Croconaw is the, the, fear, the most feared starter for Swine, because it can't hit it super effectively. So anyways, um... That's it for t right now, and um, good game, Laddie. I hope you guys go. I'm going to leave a th uh, link in the description, so I hope you guys uh, look at that. Anyways, good game.